Here with sophomore center fielder Sidney Salmons. Uh, Sydney, a 1-0 win against Texas State today. You had uh, first inning, you had the, the leadoff double that Kincannon eventually uh, brings you home the score for, for what it turned out to be the game-winning run. Uh, you stretched it into a double, though. Uh, tell me about what was going through your head when you rounded first and it was going to be a close play at the back. Um, I knew when I rounded first and saw it hitting the ground that if I uh, had a good read on it, I could get to second. I knew that uh, being faster, I could stretch it out a little bit, so I knew that when I slid in, in and I was safe, it was a good feeling. And then um, you had the, the defensive play of the game as well, a diving catch uh, in center field. It was the fifth inning. It was only the first out of the inning, but Texas State put two, run, two runners on after you, so if, if they, after the catch, so if, you know, if you don't make that catch, there's a potential they could score there. Um, Take me through that play as well. What's going through your mind when you ran into shallow uh, right center field and to, to make the catch? Uh, those those hits are always the hardest to read because you know you have the right fielder, center fielder, and second baseman coming after. And I knew that the sun was over there, so it could be hard for Kelly to read it. And then I just kind of had a good feeling about it, so I called him off and then just dove for it. Team starts three and zero. Oh. Got another one tonight against Abilene Christian, but what does it feel like to start 3-0, uh, beating DePaul, Oklahoma State, and now Texas State? You face the number one pitcher for that team, for those teams in each of those games. Uh, what's confidence level right now? Uh, confidence levels through the roof right now. Feel, feeling pretty good. Sydney, thank you very much. Thank you.